Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome to another episode of our glorious KGB Let's Play. This one should hopefully be a pretty intense one as we're going to dive right into this story mission over here, this priority mission, whatever you'd like to call it. And apart from that, we might maybe be able to fit in a second mission as well. If we take care of Riga quickly, we might be able to dive into Odessa as well and start making our money properly once more. And maybe even we get to turn Sunspot during this mission. Uh, we have this tactical recon going on as well, but we're not actually going to be pursuing this mission. This is just so Ranchero and Zenith here can get a little bit of XP. This isn't going to increase our danger or anything. So we're just doing it for the XP and then we're going to leave. Now, to many of your points, uh, there's a couple things that I should be doing. For one, I should be looking at more, not the workshop, well, also the workshop, but I should be looking at more of the investigation board stuff because it seems like we're at a point where I can unlock more trade contacts, and I totally agree. I should That's exactly what I was waiting for, so I should definitely dive into that. I'm not feeling like kicking the episode off with that, though, so maybe we leave it for a little bit later after this first mission is done. Uh, apart from that as well, I should, as many of you have pointed out, take a look at some guides for uh, the ideal way to apply compounds, and I will be doing that. I'll take a look at some guides and get that happening because some of these folks are, as you can see, pretty low when it comes to, like, max hit points and damage threshold and things like that. Well, Theremin's, Theremin's a boss, but uh, you get what I'm saying. So definitely something I want to look into as well between this and next session, probably. Um, just right now, I, I've been itching to play it. I just want to, like, dive right into some stressful <laughs> tactical uh, espionage over here. So all that we're going to leave for a little bit later. We're going to do the investigation board afterward as well. Crew quarters, there's some training to be done, but I think I'll wait until after we've taken care of uh, the missions on hand right now. And apart from that, uh, yeah, I think, we're, I think we're good to go forward. So let's not waste any more time with this introduction. Let's dive right into this mission in Riga. And as always, I just want to make a quick mention that if you guys have been enjoying this series, please don't hesitate to let me know by dropping a like and a comment down below. And if you've really been enjoying the series, then uh, you can you can say that extra hard by supporting me either through Patreon or by clicking the join button under the video. Uh, it's right below, it's a little blue button. Uh, again, it's never an obligation, but it is much appreciated because it does help uh, provide some stability to the channel. Now, with all that said, Let's get everybody kitted out over here. We definitely want Indigo going. We've got Indigo, Kodiak, Theremin, Theremin, or rather Kodiak has to go. Uh, Theremin will, of course, be in disguise. Would you look at that? This man, I swear to God, he is the fanciest boy. He is the fanciest man. Now, who else can we put in here instead of uh, Ducknose? Is there anybody I want to put in here? I, I could get Bush Baby in here. My, I think I might actually take Bush Baby. I do like Ducknose with the LMG. But I also like Falcon with the lockpick and the LMG as well. Unfor I was kind of... Yeah, I think let's get Falcon in here. You never know when you need a, uh, a lockpick. And I like the thought of having her. I could put Bush Baby in instead. She's got the higher damage threshold. Give her the lockpick. Double TKB. No LMG on her, which is a little unfortunate. Which is a little unfortunate. I could give her the RP4, I suppose. But what's the, what's the usage of an RP4 like? Where are we? RP4. Full auto is all we have. Oh, clip size is 100, so that's not bad, actually. So fine, you know what? Let's do that. Let's put, pop the uh, suppressor on it. Do we not have an extra suppressor available? I, I don't need a suppressor on this thing, to be perfectly honest. But I'd like to put one on it. I'd like to put one on it. There we go. Okay, cool. So suppressed RP4. We've got the uh, TKB suppressed as well might actually be tempted to remove that suppressor just to get more damage output over here, to be honest. Or let's get that in there to just counteract. Heavy vest and first aid kit and smoke grenade. Let's swap the smoke grenade out for the lockpick. So Falcon, let's drop the lockpicks here. And Bush Baby, let's give it to you in place of the smoke grenade. There we go. Assign you there. And then over here, we'll keep Falcon on the mission. Um... Even though this should be number 15 spot, he's traveling right now, so that's not an option. We've got two spotters and a sniper. Does that sound reasonable? Two spotters and a sniper, rather than two spotters and a smoke screen. You know what? Let's go with two spotters and a smoke screen. I feel very comfortable when we have a smoke screen. I uh, haven't had to use a sniper yet. Everyone can distract. Everyone here speaks a Russian. Glorious Tobarishi. And uh, Theremin's in disguise. We're suppressed. We're suppressed. We're suppressed. And we are suppressed. Oh, hey, we have another slot. <laughs> Glad I checked that. Glad I checked that. Duck nose. Let's get you in on this as well. Let's give you some action. Why not? Let's get that suppressed sniper out there. There we go. There we go. Playing with a full house. Roll out. 
All right, Taipan's brainwashing is paying off. He supplied the location of the conspiracy cargo, originally recovered by HMS Conqueror. The contraband had been traced to Riga, USSR. We're sending a strike team to retrieve at least one specimen of the cargo and finally find out what it is and why it's so important for the conspiracy. Oh dear. All right, you gotta find the beholder cargo, recover the cargo, and evacuate upon completion of main objectives. Let's see if we can do this quietly. Again, get your bets in. Are we gonna manage, or is this going to be a complete, um, crapshoot? I was looking for the PG way of saying it. I, I think we can pull it off quietly. It's a pretty small looking mission. We've got some loot back here. We've got some loot over here, so we'll probably deploy over here. There is some more loot right up over here, as we saw nice and early. Uh, what else have we got? What else have we got? Nothing else. No other small buildings or anything. Let's see if there's some more loot to be had or more intel to be had. I uh, can't see anything just yet. We've got to take care of the cameras soon. Hopefully Theremin pops up somewhere over here. There's some intel over here. Uh, no loot up here, it looks like. And up here is where the objective itself is, and there's some more loot back there. Is that really it? There's got to be like a hundred agents or something. Oh, more intel back here and more... Ooh, there's the cargo. Oh, what's this? So there's the cargo there and something else up here. Fascinating. Fascinating. All right, well, let's see. Let's see. Where do we place people? Where do we place people? We've got windows over here that'll look through. Okay, it's some good coverage from the south side, it looks like. These are not boarded up. Might want to put one spotter on the south side. And then on this side, perhaps, because then we get to see this hallway. Um, we're already able to see into this room. We're already able to see in here. This is actually a very, very small mission. Oh, we can't put anybody on the west. Great. So east side, then, I suppose. I suppose, sure. And then, uh, oh, we actually have a ladder up here that takes us right over to here. Interesting. Interesting. Too bad there's a camera there. Uh, but let's maybe get ourselves an east side smoke dispenser. <laughs> uh, or we could drop it on the south side over here again. I think most coverage coming through the south side, so let's do that. Smoke screen over here, and considering there's the most coverage there, let's also get the sniper coming from over there. Might be putting all of my hands... All of my hands in one basket? All of my eggs in one basket. Whew. All right. Interesting linguistic slip there. Let's deploy over here. Hopefully someone will be able to take care of this loot and then later go up this ladder and take care of this as well. Uh, and hopefully Theremin is actually deploying right next to the camera terminal over here so he can turn it off. All right, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Again, get your bets in. How long before everything goes sideways? How long before everything goes loud? Or will it go completely smoothly? Who knows? Only time will tell. All right. Here it goes. I'm so stressed out. I love the stress this game gives me. We're coming up on the safe house. Keep your wits about you. I don't think they have any security in the open. Expect undercover trouble. Undercover trouble. Interesting. What is, does that mean something special? Should I be wary of, like, civilians and stuff? And why are we deploying out over here? I guess I could take the ladder all the way up to here to kick things off. Up to here, go out this door, go down the stairs to turn off the camp. Fine. I guess that's what I'll have to do. No worries, Theremin, you can make it all the way up to here, right? Apparently we're gonna walk right through this window, which I... I just, like, I, I don't know if, if the implication is that there are agents that will be marked as civilians. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know, so I'm gonna play it a little safe here. I'm gonna take just the steps over to here. Oh, would you look at that? This door is locked. So I have to go through the... Uh, Alright, okay. No, that's not a problem, that's not a problem. Uh, Bush baby. How far are you able to make it to? You can make it to there. Okay, well, you know what? Let's go all the way up to here. Stay in the cover of the uh, the wall there. Theremin. I don't know why I'm so worried. I shouldn't be worried about this person, but for some reason I feel like they are a... Uh, they're an agent. I don't know. Gut feeling. Bad gut feeling. There's an agent right back here. Who's going to go around that way. Wondering if I should knock them out first. Because the cargo is right here. I can't interact with it though until this camera is taken care of is what I'm understanding. There is the intel here as well. So, you, okay, you know what here? Theremin, we're going to pull you back to here. And we're going to pop this door open just to see what's going on inside. So we're not wasting his full turn. Pop this door open, see what's happening in here. 
Okay, so Buddy here is going to come out over to here. And camera is able to see him there. Hopefully we can go around him and pick up the Sintel or something. We'll see. We'll see what's possible. Uh, what else do we want to do? We've got you coming or going that way. We do have this over here. So let's move Indigo over to here. And hopefully next turn we can go and pick that up and leave. Yeah, I think that's a perfectly reasonable thing to do. Hopefully there aren't more agents. We didn't know about any agents on this mission beforehand, I mean. So that's interesting. Move Kodiak over to here. That's what makes me feel like we're going to get recognized completely unexpectedly and everything will go sideways. Would you be surprised? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. That sudden camera movement made me feel like we already got spotted. It's like that's a little too early. Come on now. Okay, we're okay. Let's go to Theremin first. Sure, we can trust Taipan's intel. The brainwashing tech worked on turn code. It should get us what we need from Taipan. Unless we're doing it wrong, and this whole op is just an elaborate trap. We'll find out soon enough. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, all right, so let's get our spotter just to see over here, see what our enemy agent is doing. About to round the bend is my guess if I were a betting man. And of course, I spot just off. And we also spot here. We can't. All right. Well. Um, in the interest of being safe here, we're going to move over, pick up the intel, and then leave. So first, let's move over to here. I'll recover the cargo, and let's, uh, we're safe to pick up the intel, so let's do that. And I still can't see you, so uh, where do I leave to? Where do I leave to? Like, is that person going to come in through here? Is that person more likely to come over here? What I'm thinking is, I'll go here and close the door. Uh, unless I get seen through that window. Maybe I move up to here. My guess is the person's going to go around in circles over here. So, you know what? I'm willing to take this risk and I'm going to go over here. Hopefully it doesn't all go sideways. Like okay, Indigo, you should be able to go in. Oh, really? That's going to take you two? Well, that's fine. It's not the end of the world because we do have not uh, frag grenade. Exertion. Confirm that. We should be able to go in, pick that up, and leave. No problems. Right, so let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, do just that. So pop in through the window. Let's go. Pick up the loot. Maybe some intel. Oh, wow. That's actually a really nice find. And, uh, yeah, let's just leave as well. And nobody's any wiser. Nice. Very smooth. Very smooth. Let's um, Bush over. Baby. I wanted to get you around here to pick this lock. I'm a little concerned about that agent. I'm not going to lie. Hopefully we're okay here. And what's the deal over here? I thought there was, yeah, there's some loot over here. So Bush Baby can probably take care of that as well. But for now, let's get the, uh, lock pick. I see this, and I always wonder if, uh... Like, are you a target for my lockpicking? Also, are you staying put now that I can see you? You are, in fact, going around that way. Yeah, so you're not going to be able to see me. Cool. But, back on topic. Equipment. Lockpick. Yes, please. So that theremin can go up this ladder over here. And then Bush Baby can take care of this loot. Kodiak, let's get you... I mean, do we want to send Kodiak around over here? Is there any point to that? I don't really see a point to that, apart from going up this ladder. But why would we want to do that? There's just the intel up here. I guess that was a decoy objective to get us checking this place out. Um... Thereman can take, can take care of all that. So, you know what? Let's pull, let's pull Kodiak back over to here. My assumption is that that's where evac's going to be. My assumption. And that is the turn. Okay, we're good here. We're still okay here. Yeah, excellent. I could go back and, and take that agent out. Hi. So I can head out from here, and I could knock you right out. No cameras. You're looking that way. You shouldn't be able to see out because this is boarded up. It's tempting. If there's a time to do it, it's now. Get behind her. I'll ch I could check if there's a control phrase. Oh, would you look at that? There's another agent up here. Hmm. 
wow we were very close to being spotted there and recognized holy crap look at that bush baby just by one square <laughs> oh that's not good okay you know what in hindsight i kind of wasted a lock pick there there can go up over here not right now obviously but maybe next turn okay so for this turn we're gonna move back over here we're gonna take this agent out now's our chance i think we should do it so let's move on back here no one can see us, and I want to make sure that this is not a control phraseable individual. It is not. So we're gonna we're gonna take you down. Yeah, confirm. No reason not to. Let's go. Down you go. Beautifully done. We'll leave her here to die. No need to pick her up or anything. And I say we. And we should probably go up to here to get to the thing more directly. So fine, you know, let's move Theremin back to over here instead. Nobody has to know about that body. Indigo is fine over here. We've taken care of this loot. No reason to go over this way. Fall back this way. We could send Indigo up, but I see no reason to. All right, let's let's uh let's do a quick little check here. What is going on in here? Mm, not really that much intel available from this angle. Yeah, like I can't tell anything important, so let's let's get in to go back here nonetheless, and uh, maybe all the way up to here. You're not passing through anything dangerous, are you? No? Okay. Should be fine. Just a little vault over the garbage there. Bush baby. Okay, you're not going that way this turn. You're staying right here. But good to know you're able to get here pretty easily. But yeah, yeah, she stays there, this guy turns around and goes that way. Theremin will hopefully be able to come up with some safety the turn after. Um, so Bush Baby stays put, Kodiak stays put. Let's get this over with. That's the turn. What? Did Bush Baby get spotted? I'll call the other evac team right now. Stay alive. Easier said than done. But But she was safe. But she was safe. I That's exactly why I kept her put. I should have moved her further in. That's so annoying. That's so very annoying. It's fine, though. It's not the end of the world. Reinforcements arriving in two turns is a little scary. And Bush Baby already being hurt is a little scary. But not the end of the world. You know why it's not the end of the world? Because Theremin is right here and able to recover the cargo right away. And there's an individual in here, but we'll be able to take them out. So I can actually get this mission accomplished immediately and leave if I wanted to. Is it time to die yet? Not that I want to, but... Uh, Alright, so, Theremin, first things first, you, being our hero, are going to go in and recover the cargo. Jackpot. We have the package. Oh, that's it? That's all I get? Uh, do we pop the M10 fire from here, or do we try to make a move first? How much damage? Oh, we actually won't kill him. Unless I do this. So we can't move again, I guess. I have only the one movement point. Sure, fine. I'm glad I checked first. So let's go in with a full auto attack here. 84 damage should be confirmed. Let's go. I don't know why I had to step out for that, but... I'm all over the place right now. Okay, this is not good. This is not good. I thought I was going after this guy. So Bush Baby... We're going to have to pull you back to here to fire on this guy and save Theremin. I, I mean, I guess I had to kill that guy anyway, but uh, that, whew, <laughs> not what I had in mind. Uh, Bush, baby, we're going to take a risk and put you out in the open. No real need to do that, is there? Let's move you over to here and fire with the TKB. Got Buddy over here as well that needs to be killed, but Indigo could do that or Kodiak could do that. Okay, fine. Fine, fine. So this will work. So let's get Bush Baby over to here in the full cover. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright. Get the TKB. Not on you, but on you. 89 damage guaranteed. Not enough action points for a full auto burst, though. 66 damage. The RP4 can't fire. Okay, this is not... Hmm. Not ideal. Not ideal. We're okay. I'm not too concerned. Fire away. Good hits. He's gonna have to run out to, to attack Theremin. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. 
Um, what I'm thinking is Kodiak will move you up first before we fire at this person. Yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely kill him. Uh, I'd like to shoot him, I think, with the Sparrow rather than the Cobra. But what I could do is I could get up to here and probably fire with the Cobra and come out on top. And then Indigo can go in here and pop this guy's head right off from point blank range is what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. That does sound good to me because that way Kodiak can then go up top next turn or so to pick up some of the loot and we can make our way out taking a bit of a risk with all the loot but i think it'd be worth it kodiak could also go after this maybe indigo will go after this we'll see we'll figure it out figure it out so let's get uh kodiak over to here to fire at this cop that should be within range of the cobra it had better be within range of the cobra yes it is okay we got you there's you who i'm not so concerned about and there's you well, I'm not going to shoot at. So, we're going to pop you with the Cobra. Confirm that. Please and thank you. Time to die. Down he goes. And then we've got uh, Indigo. Able to come in here, finish you off. And there is this guy who will be able to shoot. But we could get half cover over here. I'm none too concerned about a handgun firing at Indigo. She's a dancer. She can dodge pretty readily. So, let's uh, move Indigo up to here, I think. It's still point blank if it's diagonal, if I recall correctly. So, let's go ahead and do that if I recall correctly. Right, you got the Cobra, should get 76 damage. You're going with this, 85 damage, 62. So he'll get shots in, but he's probably gonna run before he tries anything. Mm, we're not gonna throw a frag right now. We do have the sniper as well, but the sniper is pointing which way? Coming in from this direction. So I could off the cop actually, and I wonder if I might as well. Can't off this guy, unfortunately. Two turns cooldown. Let's do it. First time using a sniper and it's against a cop. Down he goes. Bit of a wasted shot, but I couldn't have killed him. So Indigo, Indigo, Indigo. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? We control phrase him because it's Agent Antler. Beautiful. This whole ordeal could have been avoided. But hey, I'll take that too. Alright. Alright, we're good now. It's too bad about this guy. Oh. Oh, damn it. I don't have a fire point anymore. Okay, it's fine. Theremin's okay. He can dodge pretty well. Bush Baby can dodge pretty well as well. I'm sure we're okay. Not calling reinforcement. Oh, that's not good. Not calling reinforcements just yet because. What the hell are you doing, man? Why do you have drugs? At least you're not firing at me. Oh, what's this guy? With his rifle firing at Antler. It's fine. I don't care for Antler. Right, so I didn't call in Evac because I do want to pick up some more of the intel and loot before we uh, run off. Hopefully we'll be able to take on the reinforcements if they arrive. Worst case scenario, Antler dies. I might actually leave him behind anyway. Now the question is, does Control Phrase stick around? And will I lose points for leaving him behind? That's the other question. Now, Theremin can go in here and finish this off. Kodiak can go pick this up. I say we do that. Let's go, Kodiak. Come on. To the window. To the wall. Alright, excellent. Um, Bush Baby will keep you back, maybe. I mean, I don't like wasting Theremin's movement with, like, short moves. You know what I mean? This guy's got 65 health. Hmm... Like, Bush Baby could go all the way here and fire into this guy from point blank and finish him off, allowing Theremin to go a little bit further and get more done. Feels more worthwhile. Right, so let's fire away. A single shot will do the trick here. Let's not waste any ammunition. We're not running a charity here. Down you go, buddy. Down you go. Just need to stay wary of grenades coming in as well with the uh, reinforcements. So, Antler can come over here and finish this guy off. Antler could also come up to here, start picking up intel. Indigo could get up to here as well, is my guess. No, she's just a little too far away, but we could pop... Um, ...the little mobility booster, exertion, to get her up to here faster. Alternatively, we get her over to... Nah, let's get Antler... Over to here to finish this guy off. 
well, to at least help finish this guy off. I should have checked his equipment first. Okay, he does have the TKB. We can get a burst shot into you. Confirm that. Time to die, baby. Nice and loud. <laughs> All right, down he goes. And again, we're trying to keep people apart now. Kodiak, let's get you on Overwatch with the Cobra. Just looking... Looking this way. Looking whichever way. Somewhere. Some way. And then Theremin, we could get him up to the ladder here. He can't get up just yet. I don't know if I should get him to that uh, wall. Indigo, we can get into here. Take you up the stairs. Or we can get you over to this ladder. Okay, sure. Let's get Indigo over to this ladder over here. And Theremin will get you over to the wall over here. Reinforcements arriving very soon, which is not ideal, but it's okay. Not the end of the world. Let's get uh, Overwatch in this direction with Theremin. And Indigo, let's get Overwatch... Which way? This way? Sure. Almost wondering if I should do Overwatch in this direction. Let's, let's do this direction, just in case they arrive by sea. <laughs> by, by boat. Um, sure, we're spread out enough, so a grenade shouldn't be able to take us all all out. Go hell is this? Area. Arriving with flashbangs. Oh, I should have overwatched in this direction. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, I'm glad I at least spotted where they're coming from, because if I can get close enough, I should be able to grenade them. Oh, this isn't good. Damn, Antler. You're in trouble, man. Oh, is he also a reinforcement arriving, or was he in this room? Oh, oh. Okay, that's a civilian. That's also a civilian. So there's some activity going on up there. Now who's got the grenades? Who has got the frag grenades? Indigo, I believe, has Jeez, one. I thought it was somebody else. She does indeed, and she should be able to come out pretty far and help take care of the situation. Let's get... Oh, no. Oh, no, that's, that's not ideal. We can only get up to here. Damn. That's unfortunate. Pick the lock. Pick, pick the wrong lock. I could rush out to here, open shots here. There's going to be four of them, is my assumption. Okay, well, first of all, let's do the obvious. Antler needs to take care of this buddy over here. Uh, we have painkillers. Eh. Antler needs to take care of this guy. I could move him into point blank to fire away. I could use the RP4 instead. I, I really could do either. I, I could do anything here, and we'd be we'd be fine. Could be... F We'd be fine doing anything here. I'm wondering. There's no way to get him around. Yeah, he's better. Let's finish this guy off here. We can take this ladder up as well afterwards. Let's finish him off. Let's go. Airstrike in five turns. <laughs> Getting me demonetized in Russian. Uh, single shot, 86 damage. That's going to be enough, right? Yeah, that's going to be enough. Let's go in. Single shot. Fire away. Come on. Down you go. Man, I'm... St Ugh, Bush baby got... I can't believe she got spotted. Now, Cody, I could come up over here and provide fire. Uh, or... I guess we could move over to here, pop this door open, and overwatch in this direction. Probably not a bad idea. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. We're gonna pop this door right open. We're gonna get that sparrow chirping. This way. I hope they go, don't come through this door over here. Yeah, let's face this way. Should be good for a killer too. And then Indigo. We can get you... Half cover or full cover over here. I mean, full cover makes more sense, obviously. So let's get you into the full cover over here. So next turn, if we're lucky, we can actually move in with the grenade. Let's just check the grenade before I ignore it. Yeah, just... Just short. That's too bad. Alright, well, that's fine. That's fine. Get that TKB on Overwatch facing this way. Uh, never mind. Definitely gonna get some damage in the, at the very least. Bush, baby, we could get you. Yeah, you Overwatching as well. But there's some rifles over here. I don't want to take my chances against rifles. So let's get Bush, baby, over to here. That RP4 requires two movement points. Does she have exertion? She does. Let's use it at the cost of some awareness. The cost of the ability to dodge a little bit. 
but it should hopefully... Ah, uh, damn it. It just gets us to here. I won't be able to overwatch in that direction from there. Ah, uh, no cover to be had. No cover to be had. I'm wondering where I should move to. I could move all the way up to here, I suppose. May as well. Let's just get closer to the action. Get that TKB overwatching in the same direction. Or actually, you know what? Let's get the TKB overwatching in this direction. Because God knows where these guys are coming from. They're coming from somewhere. And Theremin, good friend. I'll get you up to the intel over here, I suppose. Might as well. That's what the whole plan was all along. And then we can overwatch out the window, I suppose. Let's go. Let's go all the way. No time to waste. Here we go. Pick up the intel. Nice and easy. At least we don't have to worry about the cameras anymore. And the last piece of loot, I assume, is up here in this suitcase. I think that's the last piece. Probably. My guess is that's all... Oh, there's the intel over here. Okay, cool. So that is everything up on that floor. Theremin can go in through the ladder up here, or Antler could go up here. All right, cool. So Theremin, we're going to get you. Do we shoot? There's no point shooting. Minimal damage to be done. I think I'm better off overwatching in this direction and hope they all come out and hope they all get shot to bits. All right, this should be an interesting situation over here. Hopefully we get them all. It would be art. Here we go. Oh, really? You're going to run away like a coward? Nicely done. Nicely done. Half health. That's pretty solid. And what are you up to? Nice. Beauty, 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 beauty. And Kodiak as well. Come on. <laughs> nice. Two of them over there. All right. Good spot. Indigo can go in and throw a grenade probably. Turning fire, are you? Minimal damage to Kodiak, because he's a boss. Oh, what the hell is this? What do you know? There's another person up there. Okay, we're fine, though. So, uh, Indigo should be able to push in. I'm a little scared, I'm not going to lie, about what else is waiting over here. So let's get our support team to look. Spot for us. Confirm that. I need to remember I have a sniper. All right, so there's three of them over here, so that's got to be all the reinforcements, right? So Indigo can come up to over here, get the full cover, and throw a grenade. Should be no problem. Uh, I say we do exactly that. Yes, sir. Let's go, Indigo. This is what you were born for. That frag right in here is what you get. I, I'm, I'm very satisfied with how the Overwatch uh, angles worked out there. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm also satisfied with how that grenade worked out there. Alright, so we've got Buddy up here. Um, Antler, are you in a position to reach him and kill him right now? No, unfortunately not. Unfortunately not, but you are in a position to get this intel right away, so let's do that. Again, if I lose Antler, I don't mind. I have no attachment to him, personally. Let's head on over. Let's get this intel over here. There we go. And the last piece, I'm guessing, is in that briefcase over there. So let's get you with that TKB on Overwatch this way in case buddy decides to come towards us and i could hit you with the cobra i need to get uh i need to get proficient with some better machine guns on kodiak okay what i'm almost thinking is well he could probably hit indigo from up there i'm almost wondering if i want to pull kodiak off to the side over here reloading takes how long it takes two whole movement points i could close the door and reload actually you know what let's do that let's close the door <laughs> And uh, reload. Confirm that. And I'm going to check where uh, evac comes in as well. Over here or over here. Let's go ahead with uh, this evac zone. We're going to call it in right now because I think we're almost ready to go. So evac, confirm that. Evac. It'll take three turns. By the time we've cleaned up, before that airstrike arrives, we'll be out the door. Hi. Kodiak. Can't do anything. You don't have... Yeah, you don't have a moving point. I guess the Cobra can overwatch. Mm, don't necessarily want to open that door so this guy can fire at me again. So let's just pop focus instead. Put that awareness up in case something goes sideways. You, you never know. Uh, Theremin, we could get you... 
guess I could get you up these stairs. I can get you to the stairs. There's no real point in doing that, I suppose. Nothing for Theremin to do, really. I could just get him... over to here, towards Evac. I could get him over to here drawing aggro. I could get him over to here firing at Buddy. Let's get Theremin over to here. Go through here, out the window, and into cover. Beautifully done. And then let's get that M10 on Overwatch in this direction in case Buddy decides to jump out the window up top there. I don't think he will because he doesn't have the, um... He doesn't have the... Uh, the height. He, he's too high up. Let's get Bush Baby over to that corner as well just so she can go out the window next turn. She'll be ready to go. And then let's get this TKB on Overwatch again. Um... Get an overwatch, I guess, this way, in case Buddy takes the stairs down. Let's get the little radius going. All right, and turn there. Indigo might be in some trouble. Oh, hop out. No. Is there a window? Did I leave the door? Oh, there's glass up there. The hell? That's fine. We're not that badly hurt or anything. And Antler's about to go in to finish the job, buddy. He stayed here for far too long. Um, Full awareness. That's too bad. It's hoping to do two things kill two birds with one stone, but I guess I'll take two turns. Move on over to here, point blank, pop this guy's head right off, hopefully. Almost. Almost popping his head off. Guess I could take him down instead. Too much HP, of course. Um, Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pop you with a burst. Fire away. And Kodiak's gonna finish the job, I think. I hope. Kodiak, let's uh, pop this door open. Get that Cobra out. Oh. Where can I see him from? Move out to over here. Maybe. If I move up to over here, I should be able to see him. Or even over to here. Come on. Come on. Let Kodiak have this glory. There we go. With the Cobra, 27 to 8. Yeah, single shot. Let's go. Let's go. Bam. Beautiful. I just gotta figure out where my first aid kits are. Uh, Theremin doesn't need the help. Don't Indigo, I believe you have one like first that. aid kit. You do, and we'll save that for Bush, baby. Do we leave Antler behind? I mean, I don't want to leave anybody behind. I believe I get... Uh, I believe danger is increased if I do that. And I don't want that, obviously. Indigo, let's get you back to over here. Bush, baby, let's get you... Popping Exertion. Let's get you out as quickly as possible. I want to get her healed up before we get back to uh, HQ. Uh, just short of Indigo, that's fine. Rush you out to here, and then Theremin's fine, Indigo's fine. Antler, next turn we do the intel, we hop down. And unfortunately, I did, I did totally, absolutely uh, pick the wrong lock there. Kodiak, let's get you over to here. I believe Bush Baby actually has her own um, first aid kit now that I think about it. Yeah. So, Bush Baby, we're going to get you over to here. And I don't think she's an empath, is she? She is not an empath. Correct. Is Indigo an empath? No. Nobody here will heal themselves as they heal their friends. Okay, cool. Just checking. Antler, not that you're a friend. Let's get you picking this up. I think what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll fire him. I'll take him back to home base and then I'll fire him. I want to make sure I get out as quickly as possible. I feel like this is like another three turns. I feel like either way it's going to be like another three turns. We don't have exertion or anything here, so fine. Let's uh, make our way over to here. The airstrike will arrive, but it won't be able to get us. Hopefully, worst case scenario, I'll get a smoke screen over here. Yeah, okay, we'll be fine. Not too worried then. So, Bush Baby, let's get you with that first aid kit on yourself, please. <sighs> Beautifully done. And Indigo, let's heal up Kodiak. That you? Yeah, we'll 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 fire uh, Antler. So there we go. Confirm that. Come on now, hurry it up. There we go. A little bit of a slow animation there. And that's the... Is that antler? 
Okay, they're all highlighted because we can overwatch. That's why. Enemy activity, that's the, uh... Well, no. My pickup's coming first. And, uh, airstrike arrives next turn. Yeah. Alright, we good. We're more than good, we're fine. We're more than fine, we're perfect. Let's, uh, get Antler over to here. Next turn he should make it, I hope. Hurry it up, buddy, hurry it up. Let's actually make some room for him over here. Glad I had the control phrase on him. Need me? And I could... Nah, let's let the airstrike come in, I guess. It doesn't matter, we're gonna leave next turn. It's gonna arrive, it's gonna target. Probably be three turns before it can actually fire, so we're okay. We're okay. I do love these animations. I wish there was more variety of these animations. I do enjoy them. I just wish there was more. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna fire your missile there, are you? Are you? Feel free. Feel free, buddy. Feel absolutely free, because we are getting the hell out of here. That's everybody. Three and two. Three and two. Let's go. That went loud a lot earlier than I expected, and uh, that went loud because of a reason that I did not suspect. It bugs me, especially because I saw it, and I was just like, oh good, we're safe. We were almost caught. And then that's exactly what caught us. I guess as he turned, his cone of vision ended up... He craned over the balcony before he turned or something. Anyway, everyone's out. We got all the intel, all the equipment, so I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Not without trouble, but we managed to recover Beholder cargo from a location we got from Taipan. The cargo were communications devices of some sort. Our men are working on determining what they do exactly. If all goes well, maybe we'll be able to use them against Beholder. Else, at least we have new leads to follow. Excellent. We've got ourselves an M12, a cut rifle hexagonal barrel, a Wembley, a uh, heavy armor mark 2, heavy vest, and a semi-12. Uh, agent report antler skirmish tax talent revealed. Okay, I'm guessing that's just faster training for something. More intel for Valhalla's dossier and new enemies, new agent candidates. Good stuff. Good stuff. Sorry for the little jump cut there. I had a little Windows pop-up pop-up. Thanks, Windows. Anyway, um... Yeah, so, uh, pretty good mission, I'd say, overall. Actually, uh, seeing the reason why I was pausing for so long as well was because seeing Mephisto is funny. Uh, me and a buddy of mine who goes by Mephistophilols have another channel. Uh, maybe I'll link to it, actually, in the comments down below. I'll pin it, uh, where we do, like, movie reviews and stuff. So, that gave me some pause. I was like, hey, wait a second. Uh, anyway, uh, new perks for Antler here. Bilal Singh, who will be sending you right back out into the field. I want to make sure I have my, uh... Uh, what you might call it? My control phrase on him still before I fire him. Wizard, what is this thing we recovered? Not sure yet. Still chewing on the data, but it's pretty amazing. Yeah. What does it do? It's a tap. Records signals transferred on undersea cables, but on a massive scale. So could we use it to tap into Beholder's comms? Not specifically Beholder's. It's a wide net. It picks up everything. Sounds like a big boost to our signal analysis capabilities. I want it. Sure thing. Who is Wizard? Have we seen him before? I don't recognize that voice from before. Uh, nonetheless, uh, that's the thing that's happening. Um, where was I? I want to go into the workshop and I want to get this marquee device happening because that's obviously the next step in our mission. So where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Is it all the way at the bottom? It does say workshop. Or is it... Okay, so I just missed it. Marquee device. Where are we? Analytics, workshop, high-quality passports, crew quarters, better crypto, body engineering, hideout camouflage, information noise filtering, major infirmary, brainwashing, informers, infiltration equipment. Ooh. Industrial-grade banknotes. I need, to, I, need, I need to get this soon. Uh, body engineering, U.S. passport, improved interrogation, stakeout equipment. Damn, what? There's some pretty cool stuff available. There it is, marquee device. One more signal analysis job slot. Oh, I don't really want that. <laughs> but sure, I guess I'll ha I guess I have to. Um and apart from that, I wanted to take a look at our friend. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Antler? So he does still have the control phrase. So I should still be able to fire him and be fine. I guess I should check if he's any good first. Level 7. Only 96 hit points, and I took him out pretty easily, so... But hey, we're gonna strip him of all of his equipment. He's not gonna need it where he's going. And, uh, oh, but he's got three perks available. I, 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 I guess I could, um... 
I guess I could keep him. No reason not to. We've got enough room. With a name like Bilal Singh, he speaks Spanish, but not like Hindi or Punjabi or something, really? Anyway, um, so you know what? Maybe we do keep him. It's your lucky break, Antler. I guess we'll keep you. I can trust him. He's got, uh, he's got decent training and stuff. He's being fixed up right now, so we'll let that happen. Um, and as that's happening, uh, unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna have time to dive into another mission, but what I will do is, uh, go over to this investigation board and deal with Valhalla's dossier. Uh, we've got all the intel we need, so we might as well work on that. What is this propaganda do? There we go. Let's get all the stuff out over here. Wow. When all the intel comes out at the same time, it, uh, <laughs> it, it, it gets pretty, um, daunting. Ooh, hello. Wow, that's what I meant. Got you. Let's hook this up as well. Holy crap. There's so much on this one. Alright, let's move you off to the side here. Let's make some room, please, and thank you. Alright, there we go. Wait, no, one more. There we go. Okay. Any connections we see from the get-go here? Sven Galloway, Good Shepherd and Bad Company. Wrecking Crew, Citadel, Wrecking Crew and Wrecking Crew are connected. Havana, Taylor, Chuck Wagon, Bad Company and Bad Company are connected. Red Accounts, Red Accounts, okay. Chilean Reps. All right, so that's everything that starts connected. Let's, uh, let's go in a circle here. These aerial photos of Catalina Park show the locations pinpointed by Redacted as containing Obsidian Eyes weapons caches. We are sending Sea Line and Redacted to examine the sites and confirm or deny the intelligence. Please notify Cooperative about the operation. We don't want anyone, any, anyone, anyone interrupting our agents. Uh, I thought I saw a connection somewhere. No, no, no. Nope, just misremembering. Uh, let's get you next. All right. Dilettante. Lamster is a bit too curious about the recent demise of her beloved leader and supervisor. If anyone from Jailbird is swayed by Lamster's sensational guesswork, they might add two and two and mess up our gig in Redacted. We arrange for this troublemaker and Redacted to be invited to conference in Redacted. Report back to Havoc Beams facility in Redacted upon completion. Havoc Beams? That's a pretty cool secret agent name, I'm not gonna lie. Havoc Beams? Dear lord. It's like some 12 year old child is like, I want, I want my name to be Havoc Beams. Install the locator device successfully on the cargo at the Redacted. The contraband was then moved through Redacted and shipped by air to Redacted. It was picked up by Tynot's trucks and transported all the way to Redacted. Lots of Redacted cornucopia are currently sifting through ship manifests for all major ports between the two locations. Redacted will keep you posted. There's a cornucopia I definitely saw here. Alright, there we go. And what's next? I guess you're next. Transcript from device Theta X Deep Ocean. Subject redacted. A. Those cable tapping operations ran by televangelists were a mistake. I'm getting weekly reports from multiple sources alerting me to this activity. Redacted, redacted, redacted in deep ocean. Okay. Um, televangelists. Okay. I could totally be a uh, spy. Not that I am one. Uh, Havana Taylor has removed all food sources from the apartment in Citadel adjacent to Redacted, Target's apartment. The subject was then taken inside the vacant apartment and ordered not to leave via visual triggers, nested within Chilean reps' posters. Lost Cosmonaut administered delayed action oral trigger. Oral, not oral. Uh, lots of Redacted info. Target was eliminated in his sleep, subject deactivated and reclaimed by Lost Cosmonaut. Very interesting. We do have, where to go, Chilean reps, Lost Cosmonaut Citadel. Where did I see Citadel? I could have sworn I saw it somewhere. Guess not. Oh, there it is. Bam. Had to hide from me. Okay. So, let's just rearrange this a little bit. So I have a better handle of what's going on. Let's put you up here. Havana Taylor. Tie Knots. Tie Knots is not here. Tie Knots is where? There's Tie Knots. Okay, so Tie Knots is here. Let's continue our circle, I suppose. Yes. All right, Jesus, green corn. Uh, lots of redacted. These aren't owned by any televangelist subsidiary or redacted front company. You're a weird dude, green corn. What the hell? Well, that's a connection. All right. 
Lots of redacted one. When you say encountered Valhalla on a commercial flight, do you instead mean I followed Valhalla onto a commercial flight against strict orders from Redacted? If so, please make the necessary changes to your report. <laughs> Number two, I appreciated your thrilling account of the hand-to-hand -hand fight in the plane's cargo hold, but you neglected to mention your subsequent arrest in golf course upon landing, the bribes paid to letterbomb to secure your release, and the unequivocal fact that you are, in fact, an insubordinate ass who should listen to their handler if they are ever, in fact, sent on a mission again. <laughs> I swear, some of these are so entertaining to read. Right, we got Letter Bomb over here. We got Valhalla in the center over here, of course. Uh, looks like... I feel like we've got a lot of the connections done already. Uh, green Corn. Hey, there we go. I knew I saw that somewhere. There we go. Sven Galloway is over here. Things are coming together. That looks an awful lot like the guy from the opening cutscene, if I recall correctly. If I recall correctly. Jesus, what a mess. What a mess. All right, you're next. Good Shepherd. I'm reviewing an invoice on Redacted, Letterhead, and this is really more your area of expertise than mine. Care to speculate on one, what parts Maverick is buying here, and two, why so many of them might be needed in Catalina Park? From Aurora. All right, Catalina Park, i definitely seen. There it is. Aurora, Good Shepherd, Maverick. That was Good Shepherd up here. Don't think I saw Maverick anywhere. Yeah, no, we're good. Okay, okay, so we should have everything right now. We should have everything. We've got Valhalla over here to over here. Solid connection to Sven Galloway. Mm, no surprise there. And then Tie Knots over here. Connected to the Beholder uh, Initiative. And uh, cooperative, cooperative, cooperative. Where did I see cooperative? I'm missing a connection somewhere. I'm missing a. There we go. Havana Taylor. Over to here. What am I missing? Lamster, dilettante, havoc beams, jailbird, deep ocean. Cooperative, cooperative. Just quietly kind of looking here. Unless I've missed a piece of int. Ah, oh, there we go. There it is. The file of Valhalla's dossier has been analyzed. I've heard that name before. Who is he? The new CEO of Beholder Initiative, apparently. And that woman next to him? Athena Miller. But other than that, unknown. I'll see what I can dig up. Enemy revealed Needles. Needles is no enemy. Needles is a friend to be. And we've got Reloxifene. Reloxifene, what do you do, buddy? You reduce a lot of stuff, but you bump up our damage threshold. Requires something that we don't have access to, and it blocks DHEA. Okay, good stuff. Is that why it actually drops? Don't we already, didn't we already give DHEA? No, that's something else. So yeah, I do need to take a look at the body engineering guides and stuff that you guys have been mentioning so I can, uh, approach things accordingly and appropriately. But uh, apart from that, let's just take a quick look and see exactly where Needles is. Where are you, buddy? You are here at Kabarovsk. You are. Definitely want to get Tactical Recon there and uh, or I could tail. No point in tailing, I don't think. Because we know where the other cell is. It's in Odessa. So fine, you know what? We're going to get Tactical Recon happening over here. It'll take some time. So first we're going to do the Odessa mission, then we're going to do Tactical Recon over here with Theremin um, and Indigo or something. Then we're going to recover Needles, it will be ours once more, and uh, yeah, we should be good. And then the Marquee device should be done by then as well. I'm wondering if I want to do any training or anything in the meanwhile, because 10 hours... Nah, I don't have time to do any training or anything. I have a lot of agents, some who will have who will have downtime that I guess I could give some training. Definitely could look into what perks to get over here. Composure, free diver, faster movement, league pitcher. Faster movement sounds like a very good idea. What else have we got? Uh, mild paranoia. This is a bit harder. These are a bit harder to pick from. I guess I could no. I don't need this. Let's go with mild paranoia. Sure. Now what? Paramedic, survivor. Always the easy pick for me, Survivor. Cool. So he's actually a viable agent now. He's actually a viable agent now. 
Um, only insofar as he's, you know, kind of capable in terms of his hit points and stuff. What if we get him more zone operations? If tactical recon has been completed, disabling a single CCTV central or laser power source will disable all of them. Holy crap. Theremin. Theremin, where are you? Theremin, let's replace something. You don't need this anymore. We're going to swap this out. Yes. For sure. You don't need... What is this? Oh, damn. What is this one? LMG Gal M10 Model 870. None of that is necessary. Wait. No, the M10 is necessary. Damn it. Okay, so this then. We don't... We barely use blinding laser or pain stimulus. So we're going to swap out contact tactics for uh, war zone operations. That's awesome. That is extremely helpful. That is extremely helpful. All right. Uh, meanwhile, you... <laughs> back on topic need some proficiency with some weapons uh i think we should go in with this immediate firearms drill one day 12 hours We're not taking him into the next mission this way he'll be ready with the tkbs and rp4s uh, which have proved quite valuable so let's do this for you oh you're busy right you're being healed up but kodiak you my good friend I'm wondering if i swap out contact tactics instead of using up another slot I can swap it out whenever. Uh, I think I want to get him proficient with the TKB and RP4 as well. Intermediate firearms drill rather than the M12. Let's see. What does the M12 look like in comparison? The M12, not visually, I mean, obviously. 53, 98, 88. 53, 98, 88. Oh, you know what? The M12 is much more of a beast, I guess, than the TKB. It's a bigger clip size. Better on Overwatch as well. Okay, you know what? I might, maybe we got him trained with the M12 instead. It's just that I would like him carrying the, uh, an LMG as well. But I guess we could go in with M12 and a, and a Cobra. Decent damage output on the M12. Can kill most. So maybe we do that. Maybe we do that. Let me know you guys' thoughts down below in the comments as I try and figure out exactly how to spec some of these guys out. Uh, I think that's a good pick. We get Kodiak swinging that M12 around. He can go out with Lamster and his M12 as well. That's Yeah, that is a lot of damage output, actually. So maybe that's the way we go. Um, you know, we got Antler ready to roll out, get him trained a little bit, give him some equipment, probably set that up next session at the beginning of it, at least. Uh, so two people will be training, or one person will be training. He's in hospital for 18 hours, and then he'll be training. We've got enough agents to cycle around, so we should be fine to do that. We're going to take care of the Odessa mission and get tactical recon done at Khabarovsk. But again, that will all be next session. We have hit, or we've just about hit that one-hour mark, which is where I like to call sessions. Obviously, we can't start a new mission now without going well overboard. Hope you guys had a good time. Do let me know down below if you did. And as always, I just want to give a massive thanks to all of my patrons and channel members for supporting this channel on a month-to-month -month basis. Makes it a lot easier to make some very important decisions, such as keeping the channel alive and going. Uh, so I can't express enough just how much I appreciate the support. I got some new patrons recently, and uh, I, I do appreciate it greatly. Apart from that, Till next time, das Vidanya.